Stephen is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Metal detecting and digging lots of holes, looking for anything that's old. New videos every week, so please subscribe. My first dig with a down-to-earth group, and uh, I'm hopeful today I might find something. What do you reckon? I reckon you will, I. You reckon I will? It's looking good. Well, that's good, because I've got a Find of the Day competition today <laughs> with a guy in America called Papa Bear on YouTube. Uh, I've dug with him before, here in England when he came over, and we didn't really find much. So today, we're going head-to-head -to, -head to see who can find what. He's recording his video over in America. He's after, I think, uh, military buttons and artifacts and things like that. And I'm after my first Roman brooch. Good luck. Do you think I'll get it today? Yep. <laughs> Feel it in the air. Oh, that's all right then. <laughs> right, so let's get going. All right, PB here. Not the other man in the hat. I wear this for reasons though. Anyway, out here, uh, somewhere in the Utah Territory, and uh, this is uh, for Stephen's find of the day. And we'll see what I find. I expect a lot of iron, but iron can win too. So uh, we'll talk to you in a little bit. See ya. And good luck, Papa Bear. And uh, we'll put my find and your find at the end of this video so that the subscribers and viewers can have a vote to see who wins. And they decide the overall winner, not you or me. Let's get digging. Uh, just before we start, they've been on the bacon butty run. <laughs> Brown sauce, of course. You prefer brown or red? Brown. Oh, it's out of the ground. 73, let's see what this is. And it's turned out to be my first target of the day, a musket ball. I know Papa Bear over in America will love that. Showing 91. That's worth a live dig, don't you think? I've had a happy hole already with the um, musket ball. But I thought I saw a flash of green here, probably a penny or something. Could be another happy... Oh no! Oh! It's not a penny, but it looks like copper. And it seems to have a pattern in the middle. And it looks like there's a hole at one end. So that might have been a pendant or a part of a locket or something. Yes, another happy hole. A buckle. I hear a nice little button. I like that. <laughs> Look at that. 11 inches deep. And it still works. <laughs> well, I've just brought up this Martini Henry was a fantastic rifle I think this one is a 0.577 stroke 4 something caliber I can't remember all the details it's been a long while since I found any of these I had 20 in one field once I think uh, Papa Bear might be interested in this is my find of the day because he's into this sort of thing I might put that up depending on what else I find good stuff Look at them booties. Lord Lizzie. No, that's not from today's find. He's just reminiscing. Oh, you, aren't got, you Dennis? you got to reminisce. reminisce. You've got to reminisce, mate, haven't you? Now, Dennis, do you remember one of my old videos back ages ago? But Dennis was the one that found the. He invited me onto his um, special permission, not saying where. I walked over it and he picked it up behind me. It was a, a big gold Victorian brooch. And uh, I was as sick as a parrot. <laughs> That was even his coil, I bought his coil off him, which I'm using today. This is what, this is what Steve likes. There you are. What do I, oh, two, two that, goldies together, look. That's a seven out semi, that one. Special seven out semi. If you look at that one, look at the art in centre. Yeah, top. Look at the art, right in the centre, on the right hand side you'll see seven little arts. Mm. We'll call it seven out semi. Ooh. Nice little I'm rare I'm still one. waiting for my first gold. What's that one, the other one? That one's a hundred the eighths. Uh, double rose half crown. Oh, let's have a look at that. 
Henry VIII, double rows half crown. I want my a rare beast is that one. I want my first ever gold coin to be a hammered. Big Smith out of me on this field. Look at these devils. They're big. Yeah, that's a Charles the First half crown. And that's a James the First half crown. Sadly it's been split. Whoa. They're big. The yeah, the reason we're going through all Dennis's artifacts is because no one's found anything today on here. And uh, one or two have gone. And I'm joining them. I'm going to go on with my own permission so I can easily find nothing on there too. Well, it's been really, really difficult today. Not to mention windy. Very windy. I haven't been able to make much video. So really I've only got a couple of coins so far. Bag seal. I've just dug up that... Uh, not white bit, which is a bit of furniture fitting, I believe, and a button. Well, I'm not sure what that is, but I like it. Still got about 20 minutes left before we call it a day. There you go, you can see the end. If I don't put on the video across the bottom there what this is, that's because I've not yet found out. So just leave a comment for me and you tell me what you think it is. Well, whilst Derek is on a target, I've just dug dug up that piece it's been snapped at the end there and uh, you can see if you look closely that originally this looks like it was possibly gilded it must have been significant if it was gilded it looks like there's maybe some gilding in there yeah it's definitely been gilded or something yeah interesting you've got a drip on the end of your nose <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's the end of the day's hunting for the find of the day for me, and it's not really been a good day. I broke it over two halves, one yesterday and half the day, and it's been very windy, not very good video, very wet and cold, and now I'm standing in, almost in the middle of a muck heap um, because it's so windy and I'm sheltering uh, from the wind for the microphone. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> I'm going to have to declare that my Henry Martini is the only thing I've got any decent to put forward. Now, Mr. Bear might like that because he's into this sort of stuff, I believe. So that really is it for me, I'm afraid. So let's go to Papa Bear and see what he's got to put up for his find of the day. All right, well, the uh, weather's starting to close in. So I'm done. Uh, let's go through my stuff here. We got our trash. Yeah, say more. Battery money. Uh, again, that's kind of cool how that's all twisted like that. Oh, they would have used that for um, Interesting plus the bullet Like I said battery money. This isn't a part of a uh, horse bit I realized it when I got back here. It's actually part of a, it's like a chain link So this would be at the end there'd be the rest of the chain here If you wanted to loop your chain this piece would actually loop through another loop on the chain and it would give you a Something is like if you're tying it around, a, say, a, a log or something, you want to drag it. Something like that. So that's what that is. It's a chain link. This, I suspect, is part of an old milk bottle top. I can't see any writing on it. Well, there probably is, but I just can't see it. I have my glasses. So, and then I got the 5070. And like I said, late 1865, 1866 time frame, they came out with these. So my find today is going to be this. My 5070 rifle cartridge. And like I said, the U.S. Army. Started using these late 1865, 1866, mostly 1866. If you read anything, I think it says 1866 when they came out. But I'm sure they were developing them in 1865. And uh, they were in use with the uh, U.S. Army until uh, 1877 when the uh, government 4570 came out. So that's my find of the day there, Steve. Hopefully that uh, trumps yours. <laughs> uh, if not, it was a good gallant fight and I look forward to the next one. So from uh, somewhere here in Utah Territory, this is uh, PB and I will talk to you later. Happy hunting and good luck. See ya. Bye. Well, Papa Bear, thank you for showing us that find of the day. Truly amazing and don't forget, our, our subscribers can now vote. The voting is open. Please vote now. In that corner, there's a little list. There'll be the two items on there. There'll be Papa Bears and mine. You can decide who is worthy of being the overall Find of the Day champion. Now, since I started doing these videos three months ago, I've had some fabulous feedback from people. And lots of people want to get involved with me now on the Find of the Day, collaborating two or 
up to five videos together so that we can engage new audiences, um, have people from around the world just showing their finds to so many more new people. And if you like the idea, and if you like one of the finds of the day um, on this video, just leave a thumbs up and a comment too. We do like to read your comments and we always try and answer them if we can. And more importantly, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I've got lots more finds of the day videos coming soon. This is something I'm going to do now on a frequent basis. And there are some favourite MDers coming up very shortly too. And if you want to be part of the find of the day with me and one or two others, give me a nudge. Let me know. We'll organise something. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Catch you later and see you soon. Stephen is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Metal detecting and digging lots of holes. Looking for anything that's old. New videos every week, so please subscribe. Catch you later.